Let's take a look at what we can expect for Saturday into Sunday. Maybe you will be inside doing some wrapping and getting some things done. Showers around 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And this is what we're thinking at this point because of this initial round of moisture. This is not the main event, but that's looking like when we'll at least get a few spotty showers into the forecast. Could still rain a little bit for the Greenville Christmas Parade, but the heavier rain arrives early on Sunday and it sticks around. In fact, the afternoon could bring some isolated thunderstorms. So clouds out there now. We zoom out. Got a while to wait on this moisture. It's all streaming from Memphis down to New Orleans. Severe weather threat across much of Arkansas from this front. The front is going to sweep in for us, bring our highest rain chance as the front's right on top of us, which will be toward midday on Sunday, and then eventually we'll push eastward and we'll help to create some stronger storms in our mainly to the east of us, but it could produce a random thunderstorm into the afternoon on Sunday before some snow wraps in along the back edge along Tennessee, North Carolina border. So here we go. The rest of uh, tonight looks good. This is our high resolution model, just giving you that look at that round of rain that comes through midday. So this is 11 a.m. Saturday, scattered showers, but notice around the evening time, there'll still be some rain around, but it's not going to be bad. It'll be in a lull until we see some more significant downpour toward the morning on Sunday. Heavy rain expected potentially between 6 and 8 a.m. And then we'll be looking at our final round really ramping up into the afternoon. That's with some heat of the day. And that's why our greatest threat for stronger storms is going to be in our eastern zone. So Gaffney, Union, down toward Newberry. And then that's all going to begin to shift eastward toward 3 to 4 o'clock. So rain totals from all this. And so we'll get multiple rounds, 1 to 2 inches of rain. So light rain possible between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. Can't rule out a heavy downpour real quick. We're not talking about steady heavy rain. And then a break on Saturday evening before heavier downpours arrive on Sunday. In the next 24 hours tonight should be relatively calm. Can't rule out a shower late. Temperatures in the mid 40s and then your afternoon will be looking at 60. So it'll be a mild one if you're uh, heading out to any of the festivities going on across the area. Uh, the Kringle Holiday Market, you're really not going to need much of a jacket, but a rain jacket be good just in case as a few showers could be streaming on by. So next seven days, we've got a 40% chance of rain Saturday, but the better chance comes Sunday. That's why we have that first alert weather day, bigger impact during the day on Sunday. And then Monday, Tuesday, well, we clear on up. In fact, it's a beautiful week. It's just going to feel very wintry with highs in the 50s, lows near freezing each and every night. In the mountains, we'll be looking at the first alert weather day for Sunday, but some showers leading up to that on Saturday. We will be here through the weekend, keeping you posted as that heavy rain moves through. Now, of course, you can download the Fox Carolina first alert weather app by scanning the code on your screen. And the great thing about having the app this weekend, if you can download it now, uh, we can send you exclusive updates straight to your phone. You can watch anywhere uh, and it would just little short videos letting you know where rain is, where it's headed, and if we're seeing any kind of severe threat develop. Just a great thing to have if you're wanting to keep your, you and your family safe while you're out and about. Now,